Hi friends, this is Saurabh and uh, today we are going to discuss how to resolve the record and playback issues using the OpenStrip tool. So I have encountered a lot of issues during the playback and recording with the different browsers, with the different versions and uh, people are uh, writing me an email asking Saurabh what we should do if we encounter this issue and if we encounter that issue. So I'm just creating this video so that uh, all of those guys who are facing the issues with the record and playback should be able to get help from this okay so before we start let's see what are the supporting browsers which we have with the latest OS open script 12.5 versions so it supports internet explorer ie mozilla firefox as well as google chrome so google chrome would be used for playback okay so all the listed versions right now on my screen you can use them the most preferred browsers if you are working specially with the uh, oracle ebs application or oracle fusion applications so the most preferred browser would be ie the reason because of security and the stability people also use this firefox as a preferred browsers but yes uh, my personal preference would be ie okay so let's go ahead so before i start even listing down all the different issues and uh, the problem which people face during the record and playback so i just want to give you a suggestion that uh, we have a wonderful tool created by the open script in an inbuilt tool to resolve all the issues on its own and it's called diagnostic tool okay so if you see once you open the open script you under help you will see open script diagnostic tool diagnosis tool. so just open that tool and you will see the list of checkbox let let all the checkbox be checked and click on next and run this so the first thumb rule should be whenever you are facing any issue with the tool either wrote, uh, the issues during recording or issues during the playback the first step you should do is run this diagnosis tool so this will try to resolve the problem on its own and if this tool itself is not able to resolve the problem then what we should be doing i am going to explain you that okay so how to run this tool first of all so let's open the open script tool once you open us open the open script tool you're going to get a screen like this go to help click on diagnosis tool all these check boxes are already checked click on next and it will start running the diagnosis so if it encounters any issue which is already there in your configuration or internet explorer or firefox or chrome all those issues it's going to try resolving on its own okay so if you see i am encountering one of the, this i have i have manually created this issue because i want to explain this in my further slide so let's click on okay and go ahead so once everything is done you will see something in green and something in red right so the green ones says this particular check has been passed successfully and the red one indicates there is some issue with it so what's the issue with this if i click on this you are going to read the issue with this particular check why the diagnosis tool is not able to resolve this the reason is listed over here if you click on this then you click on this and then you click on this so for every individual issues which the diagnosis tool is not able to resolve on its own you are going to read that if you need further details on this you just click on logs once you click on logs it will navigate to the folder where the logs are stored and then if you see over here you can go to that particular folder related to your issue and then you can try to read the logs in detail okay so this i'm going to explain you in my another tutorial not now but yeah i just want to recommend whenever you are encounter any issue the first thing you should be doing is run this diagnosis tool okay so let's <coughs> go back to the list of other issues so this is a very famous issue and uh, i see a lot of newcomers or a lot of lot of guys during working on open script encounter this issue frequently and the root cause for this issue is the issue says whenever you want to run the script or when you click on a record button generally you get this issue saying i cannot get a connection from vho error while recording the script and the reason because the add-ons in your ie toolbar are not enabled so in my another video after this you are going to see the how exactly the open script tool or maybe in any automation tool works with the browser because whatever operations or whatever recording we are doing on a browser 
it has there has to be some mechanism with which the tool will understand the what message it is sending to a browser and how it's going to receiving that particular message from the browser so there is some mechanism behind it so that i'm going to explain in the next video but here you should understand whenever you get this particular issue the first thing you should be checking is is your add-ons in the browser are enabled and how to do that so let me open internet explorer so internet explorer and you should be going to settings and then manage add-ons and then under toolbars and extensions you are going to check that this particular two add-ons which are responsible for connecting to your open script tool this has to be in enabled if in case they are not enabled you have to click on enable button over here and enable them so both of these add-ons has to be enabled then only the open script tool will able to connect with your browser now you should at least get an understanding that with the help of these add-ons the tool communicates with your browser okay the other mechanism and engineering behind that i'm going to explain in another video so this is the first <coughs> issue and how to resolve that is to enable the add-ons moving forward another very famous issue nowadays web dawn browser helper installation failed i see a lot of people posting this issue on stack overflow on the youtube videos on so many forums but they still didn't get an answer even after struggling of a lot of this so i found a very quick and easy answer for this whenever you encounter this issue i have highlighted a screenshot as well what you should be doing you should be running this particular command which i am going to also put it in my description of this video from the command line do not worry about what exactly this is this is actually because of it during your installation the open script tries to add a particular command in your registry and because of the access issue it is not able to add so that's the reason they encounter this issue and how to avoid that is you can add this particular thing from your command line so i'll again show you the difference so i'm just copying this what you do you just copy the command from the description of this video go to the command line cmd open it see right now i'm just opening the command line i'm just trying to run it so the moment i pasted and clicked enter i'm getting this issue access denied so the reason because i do not have an admin privilege and i'm trying to add some particular thing in the registry and you know it's a, it's a, adding something in a registry definitely needs an admin privilege so that's the reason it is giving me access denied and that's the reason we get these particular screenshots okay during installation as well so how to avoid this so first of all during installation if you are getting this issue it means you have not started your installation correctly so to follow the appropriate installation of the open script follow my another video in the tutorial list where you will see a quick tips and tricks how to install and configure open script correctly to avoid the issues in future okay so first of all if you are getting this issue means you have not even started your installation correctly with the correct settings so but yes even if you are getting this issue this this tutorial should help you how to resolve it now again i am going to copy this now what you should be doing you are going to open the command line with admin privilege so what you should do just right click on this and run as administrator once now you are opening the command line with an administrator now you are going to paste that particular command and run it so this says operation completed successfully that's it so you are done with it you you are not going to encounter this issue again okay a simple solution let's go to an issue number 3 again this is related to your extension in the firefox so you get this particular issue cannot get a connection from the browser helper after 15 seconds do you want to continue waiting for the browser to load while recording the script or you also get get a similar kind of issue during a playback which says cannot get a connection from the browser after 60 second so first of all we need to understand why the open script <coughs> gives this particular error in terms of browser connectivity so that you are going to understand in my next tutorial we are going to explain the basics of any automation tool how it connects with the browser and with the what mechanism it connects okay so but yes right now how to resolve this issue again the same thing you open the firefox browser go to your extension and then you check this particular extension web dom 2.0 has to be enabled the similar what we do did in the i okay so <clears throat> i'm just trying to list down some of the tips 
during the recording so if you are non administrator user and you are trying to work with an open script and you are using any of this operating system like vista windows 7 windows 8 and uh, the r2 server <coughs> with an internet browser you are more frequently going to encounter the administrator related issues and uh, because you are not having an administrator privilege and you try to do a lot of operations with an open script which actually needs an administrator privilege so to avoid that what you should be doing do a do a practice of opening an open script with administrator privilege and how to do that i'm just going to close on initial whatever is open right now so whenever you open an open script So make sure you open the open script right click run as administrator okay so you try to open the script using an administrator privilege and uh, hopefully most of your issues should go away fine so another <coughs> another tip is user belonging to non administrator group may have more problem because of the access privilege to the register or file system these users can try following workaround to record the to, to work around for recording and playback issues what we should be doing you know whenever we launch a browser we generally get about blank page so you should be trying to add this particular url in your trusted site also turn off the protected mode settings from the related zone internet local and trusted how to do that it's pretty simple <laughs> so just go to i go to settings go to internet options then go to your security now you see different different zones right so click on the trusted site let's say <coughs> or the local internet click on the sites and here going to add the site details so here going to add the site details okay so and then you click on add and it will get added over here So you try to do this, <coughs> the options mentioned over here and uh, make sure that uh, you are selecting the enabling the protected mode option, fine. Now these are some of the open script default commands which you can use during the record and the playback. Okay, so thanks for watching my video and uh, I'm going to post on another videos related to some more issues and their troubleshooting so subscribe my channel so that you will get notified for the next tutorial thank you